Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Are we living in a simulated virtual reality? Are we living in the Matrix? Well, I've been following this for quite some time and perhaps many of you have as well, but this theory uh, has been growing in popularity, not just among us normal folks out here, but with scientists and some pretty big names. In fact, New reports are coming out that many people in Silicon Valley, which if you don't know, is the California home to many of the most popular internet and tech startups that you can imagine, including Apple, Facebook, and Google. And a lot of people in Silicon Valley believe that we are in a simulation and are quoted to have said that they will prove it. So the reports are that the Silicon Valley billionaires are so convinced that we are living in a computer simulated matrix that this is not real. Apparently they are investing a lot of money in funding research to prove their theories. Now right off the back, I mean, this is, I mean, is it not crazy to think that we are all not living in the real world? But a computer simulation, many people have said that the 1998 film The Matrix uh, was, well, apart from being an awesome movie, um, hit very close to home, and that it may be much closer to truth than fiction. French philosopher René Descartes was once quoted as saying that our minds are all being controlled from a laboratory. Prophetic words of this philosopher were way above her time, and technology has continued to grow since then. With some of the big guys, the big people, the sharks in technology, who are now ascribing to this way of thinking. One of those people is the billionaire Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX. I know we've been talking about Elon over the past few videos after his Falcon 9 rocket exploded. And so Mr. Musk has expressed his own belief that we are living in a matrix, a simulated reality, saying, and I quote, The strongest argument for us probably being in a simulation, I think, is the following. Forty years ago we had Pong, which was two rectangles and a dot on a computer screen. That's where we were. Now, 40 years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously and it's getting better every year. And soon, we'll have virtual reality. We will have augmented reality. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will become indistinguishable from reality. So basically, the way of thinking here is that things like video games will come to a point where they will become so realistic that they will be indistinguishable from real life. So then the question becomes, are we also in a similar simulation, a similar game, or are we in what is called base reality, the actual reality? And for all we know, there could be billions of these simulated realities, with more simulated realities being created within each one. So it's really mind-boggling, really makes you think, and now we have some pretty big tech companies that are investing in funding that may one day prove that all of this is just a computer simulation, ones and zeros. So if that doesn't bake your noodle, I don't know what does. It's definitely something that can keep people up thinking about, so maybe not think too hard about it. Uh, now, we have some other stories to talk about, but first I want to get to some new UFO sightings, some strange things happening in our skies. The first of which is this video here taken out of Moscow that's just hit the web and it was actually reported on RT.com of this strange glowing UFO hovering above the city. So check this out.
Alright, so, I was first sent this report and uh, linked over to a new RT.com article entitled, Huge Glowing UFO Filmed Above Moscow Homes. So I went over and got the permission of the original video poster so we could show you guys here. And according to the information we have, and as you just saw, a man by the name of Vladimir Tillman captured this footage of this big bright ball of light hovering over apartments in a residential area of Moscow that has got a lot of people wondering who saw this thing. Uh, it was recorded on October 3rd hovering and flying over homes in the Marfino district of Moscow. And uh, as you're seeing in this video footage here, um, I mean, this thing, whatever it is, it is bright. And it really did startle quite a lot of people in this area. And again, this is just hitting the web, so I have no doubt we'll be getting more video footage of it. And I've noticed a couple things in this. Not only do we have this big, bright, white, glowing object moving slowly until it disappears behind the buildings here but if you look just above it we have what looks like another object like a a saucer or a cigar shaped ufo uh, sitting above this thing uh, could it be a light in the distance i i don't know it's very strange the shape of it makes me think that it's closer to this glowing ufo uh, but again, I wanted to show you guys this. You guys can head over to the original video. I will post the link down below. Uh, big thanks to Vladimir Tillman. Um, and if any of you guys out in Moscow saw this thing or have any more information, definitely shoot me an email and we will post an update on it in a next video. So what do you guys think? Whatever this thing is, it is bright. Now... Check out this strange black UFO that was seen moving slowly across Australia recently. Floating through the fucking sky right now. What the fuck is that? Alright, this was sent over by Tim Sheehan, who said that he was driving home and saw this very strange structure flying overhead above his car, continuing through his neighborhood, or over his neighborhood. He said that this object made absolutely no noise, and also, another interesting thing to note is this object was moving against the wind, which is a clear indicator that helps us to rule out things such as balloons and, and things of that nature. He said it was moving against the wind and, quote, seemed completely unaffected by it. He also said that it had visibly moving parts on it that seemed to be, to his naked eye, spinning and reorganizing themselves. And it seemed to be the size of about a small car. So, we're trying to give you the best shot we can here. Um, I've been getting a lot of strange uh, footage stories. Reports of strange activity, strange weather, all happening over Australia. I mean, I, we ne there is never a shortage of strangeness uh, coming from our friends down under. So, I mean, big thanks to uh, Tim for sending this over. Um, I have no idea what this is. If any of you guys have seen this, I know we have a lot of fans out in Australia. Help me out with this one and uh, let me know what you guys think. Now, before we get on to some other news, I want to show you guys a new Mars rover photograph uh, that was recently sent to me, which contains uh, some, I'd say, anomalous activity. Uh, here is the image here, giving us this sort of sprawling view over the Martian surface. Uh, and if you look up here in the left-hand corner, uh, some interesting things uh, were pointed out. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in here. And the first thing you guys will probably notice, which is what I did, is this strange, faint, black circle here in the distance. It seems to be almost, it looks like it's being covered by a lot of the haze uh, that's on the red planet. And uh, according to new reports, 
uh, we have some massive sandstorms that are ramping up that are going to be completely enveloping the entire planet. We are not going to be able to see any real surface features anymore because of so much dust that's going to be up in the atmosphere. So what we're seeing here may be one of these large objects in the distance surrounded by this hazy, sandy atmosphere. Um, or, I mean, what else could it be? It doesn't look like a, a, an image artifact. It only appears in this particular image. And then if you look above it, we have what looks like another object, cylindrical in nature, cigar-shaped, if you will, um, that definitely looks to be moving through the sky. It looks like it has some motion blur to it. So, you know, we have a couple of anomalous things happening here. And as I've said before, there's a lot of activity that's been documented around Mars. Uh, one of the best candidates that we know of, of really confirmed extraterrestrial activity. Um, we have had probes knocked out the Russian Phobos incident, where a large cylindrical structure was captured on camera just moments before this probe was knocked out of orbit and lost forever. We have seen the shadows of these giant cigar-shaped craft being cast down onto Mars' surface. And, um, yeah, that, that may very well be what we're seeing here. So, uh, check out the image for yourselves. You can download it in the link in the video description and let me know what you guys think. Now for, for an update on the new uh, planet that we recently found. Uh, we did a story on this about another Earth-like planet found in the Proxima star system, which is actually the closest star system that we have to our own sun. So, in space terms, this new planet that they've found, which is within its star's Goldilocks zone, so it does have the potential to harbor life, is actually very close to us, in space terms. So the planet is called Proxima b. And it is an Earth-like planet, and scientists have said recently, as they've been watching this thing, that the planet is likely to support life. But not only that, a new discovery has found that it very well could be completely covered in water. One large massive ocean. So this planet, which by the way is only 4.25 light years away, which again, on a cosmic scale, is just down the street from us was originally thought to be a rocky planet uh, that could sustain liquid water. But new evidence is showing that it could in fact be completely covered in an ocean very similar to ours. The team who discovered it has said, and I quote, the planet could be an ocean planet with an ocean covering its entire surface and similar water to some icy moons around Jupiter or Saturn. Now, originally, they thought that Proxima b was a little bit too close to its star to be habitable. However, the good news is that this star is a little bit different from our own, and it's just different enough that the surroundings are just right, and there's a very high likelihood that this planet sustains life. So, very, very big news. Um, if you guys don't remember, there's also a plan in the works to get a spacecraft, a probe, to the planet in just about 20 years using some very fun and interesting new technology um, that would allow this probe to reach breakneck speeds that we've never seen before. So it's all very exciting. And so uh, before we end today's video, I want to show you guys something really cool. If any of you guys out in England or uh, maybe you're thinking about taking a vacation over to England, there is a new bed and breakfast that you can visit that is situated in the very creepy, very spooky site of the Randlesham Forest UFO incident. And now you and your children can stay there. Uh, here is the uh, motorhome that is designed to be a replica from the Ben 10 children's TV show and you can sleep overnight in the Randlesham Forest, uh, known as the Roswell of England because of its bizarre UFO past. Uh, and if you don't know, in December 1980, dozens of witnesses across Suffolk claimed to have spotted an alien aircraft land in a nearby field, which was then corroborated by a former U.S. Army commander, Colonel Charles Holt, who was at the Bentwaters Air Base on the night that this object was seen and confirmed that radar operators tracked the unknown object. 
So, and and by the way, this sighting is one of the most well-known and well-documented. I highly suggest researching it after you watch this video. And uh, now, you guys can head out, stay the night in this forest, in this awesome, kind of creepy motorhome here, and uh, have yourself a good time, you know? Maybe you'll see something, but it's just creepy. I'd love to do it. In fact, I just might. You know what? I think I might pack my bags after this video and, and take a little trip. I think that would be awesome. Uh, No joke. No joke. Uh, So, I mean, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about that. And if you guys visit, be sure to send me back some pictures and video. All right? So, thanks for watching today, guys. Let me know about everything we've talked about today. Are we living in the Matrix? And if so, are the extraterrestrials, as we call them, our true creators? Are they the puppet masters? Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to hit that like button on your way out. I really appreciate it. And stick around because I've got a lot more coming. And I'll see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.